Hi there, I'm Emily, also known as the Drone Angel. And today I wanna to have a chat with you all about where our industry is going, and not just about our industry, but the future of drones overall. I think growing up with lots of sci-fi media, there's some point or another where we wish that we were born into a futuristic world where we can upload our brains to computers, get cybernetic parts, and travel by flying cars. And okay, I can't promise anything with regards to uploading a brain, and we already have cybernetic parts, although that's a whole another story. But we're also closer than you might expect to flying cars. Thank you! Except they're not really cars, they're drones. But that goes to show you how versatile drone technology is. Content creation like what I do is only the start. Drone technology is positioned to make a huge difference in almost every industry around the world, from emergency response to agricultural to journalism. Drones aren't just for hobbyists in the military anymore, which is becoming increasingly clear to industry leaders. Just like other new tech such as AR and VR, drone technology is proving to be tenacious and increasingly relevant. It's something that could change industries forever, like for good. In most of these fields, advancements in drone technology aren't something that I'll directly be involved in because I have no need for things like agricultural drones that can spray pesticide, or at least that's what I tell myself every time a new drone with fascinating tech hits the market. That doesn't mean I'm not very invested in where drones are going. After all, we should all be kind of invested in it. Within the next decade, drones could become a core part of our daily lives. I'm really just along for the ride, watching it happen and reading about it. And for the next about eight to 10 minutes, I'm gonna bring you along with me. But before we get started, please take a moment and smash that subscribe button to stay up to date on drone news and tips. Before we get any deeper, it's important to talk about the drone industry's growth in recent years. As with all new technology, there are naysayers just as much as there are diehard fans. Bloomberg published an article in 2019 that the drone bubble had burst and startups were failing. And yes, it was true that there were startups crashing at the time, but there were also more established drone companies who never crashed. Other publications like Firmatech claimed that sure, the drone industry won't die, but there's no money in just flying drones. Man, do I sound like an idiot. <laughs> I'm living proof that that's not entirely accurate, as is the success of DJI drones. Either way, I can't deny that the future of drones is deeply connected to automation. My own field is a blend of technology and artistic execution, which lends me some job security and a comfortable front row seat to watch drone technology advance. In other industries, automation is the key to widespread drone adoption. Now in 2022, I don't think anyone really believes drones are just gonna disappear. Goldman Sachs predicted that the industry would reach 100 billion by 2020, and Morgan Stanley predicted it would be 1.5 trillion by 2040. The actual records haven't been really that far off. Awesome. Yes! Between labor shortages, constant demands for efficiency, and a set of tasks that are just really begging to be automated, drone tech is especially apparent in the agricultural industry. Agriculture is only one part of the future of drones, but drones are the future of agriculture. At least that's what it looks like right now. Surveillance capabilities is the number one reason why drones are popular in a wide variety of industries. In the case of agricultural drones, surveillance is only the beginning in addition to automatic scouting and basic data collection, some kinds of agricultural drones can map out fields of crops down to the individual plant. Unsurprisingly, one of them is a DJI drone, the P4 Multispectral. It's named after its multispectral imaging system, which you might know as thermal imaging. The P4 has a flight time similar to that of other DJI drones at an estimated 27 minutes. Looking at core metrics like battery life makes it pretty clear that advancements in drone technology will benefit so many different industries, not just the one you're in right now. Whether they're from DJI or not, data collection drones can help farmers become even more efficient in the ways that they manage their fields and monitor the health of their crops. 
Now I promised that the drone tech and agriculture went beyond surveillance. So here's where the pesticide comes in. Large specialty drones can carry pesticide in a spraying tank and either be flown manually or be set on an autonomous route. DJI's latest addition to the Agras series, the Agras T30, can even calculate what the best path across a field would be before flying on its own. Other drones can disperse seeds, drastically shortening what is otherwise a very lengthy planting process. Remember how I said drones weren't just for the military anymore? Well, it might have been wrong. Even in the agricultural field, drones are used for airdropping troops to fight off the bad guys. In this context, the troops are enemy bugs that get deployed using drones onto crops that are infested with damaging insects. If you're more interested in the consumer and videographer side of droning, like most hobbyists, all this information about pesticide spraying might seem irrelevant. But bear with me here. While I can't say for certain where agricultural drones will go next, they have the potential to do a lot of good. Automated drones and data analysis is bound to make things much more efficient for farmers. Efficiency means less wasted time, yes, but it can also mean better income and less waste to deal with in our natural environment. Yes. Transportation is the other industry that will likely be the most changed by drone technology in the next few years. Even two or three years might be enough to see tech-like passenger drones integrated into big city life. Passenger drones are triple XL sized drones that remind me more of a small helicopter than they are of your typical drone. Today's innovators and engineers envision passenger drones as becoming almost as commonplace as something like an Uber. And literally, passenger drones could really become like an Uber, something which Uber itself can agree on. Although they sold the rights for Uber Elevate, which was their own passenger drone tech, to Joby Aviation in 2020, the vision really hasn't changed much. For people living in and traveling through big cities, passenger drones offer a quick mode of transportation that's quieter, cleaner, and smaller than a helicopter. The benefits for cities aren't that hard to imagine. Passenger drones could help with traffic and city planning for busy, urban areas just as easily as they can help divert energy usage away from fossil fuels. Companies like Ehane, Volocopter, and Skykorsky are rushing to claim their piece of sweet, sweet passenger drone market share, with Volocopter planning on launching their drone during the 2024 Paris Olympics. That's only two years away from now. What will happen in five or 10 years once this technology has had more space to develop? I don't know about you, but my imagination is running wild. There are many industries that will be using drones in the future beyond transportation and agriculture. I chose to mention those two specifically because of how exciting their progress is, but drones are relevant in hundreds of different situations. Now, there are a couple of quick questions that you can use to decide if drones are relevant or not. Can the industry benefit from better data and automated surveillance? Does the industry have a supply chain? If the answer to either of those questions was yes, then drones will probably have a place in that industry's future. Even now, only seven years after drones boomed in accessibility and popularity in 2015, drones are now being used in tons of industries. Hopefully by now, I've convinced you that drones have a very bright future ahead. But at this point, it's important to say that everything that's going on right now is very uncertain. It's hard to say exactly where drone technology will take us in the next couple decades, and nothing is set in stone. With that in mind, what do you think our future will look like? Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, the biggest compliment to me is if you could share it with someone else that would also enjoy it. Of course, hit subscribe to stay up to date on drone news and tips. If you're interested, I also do online educational consulting and hands-on workshops where I teach you how to fly over whales and dolphins. More information is on my website and in the links below. I'll see you in the next video.